Well, a bit of an early morning look and uh, time to take the lid off and take a little bit of a look. This thing was bumped around the previous day. Got some pollen I need to put in there. Lays it down there a bit. So we can see it, huh? I have some pollen to put in there. Down the bottom, the alternate ways to sit that across the top, but I don't want to knock it over or spill it while I put some pollen down there before it is that sort of a trouble. And it's best down the bottom out of the way, and so the wind can't hit it and it doesn't get any rain on it. Time to take a look this morning and to see if I have the ladder. Oh, I have a very wide ladder in there. And I don't seem to have a queen. Yes, they're inside there again, but that's all it is. It's, they've got their ladder attached to it. They're all attached to each other down there. It's getting to be good news, though. And, uh, it's a little disturbed by it. And that means that they're probably making quite a few brood cells. Yeah, getting in the sunlight, but you can see that much more clearly like that. Down there, the brood cells are being pulled out to the edge there. And there's more bees on, so on this one here at the front. Right, I'm going to put that back down again. Put that a bit closer and point it down there. Closer again. Put it down. Yeah. 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 We still haven't found the queen inside it. Yeah. Standard usual ways. There. See those cells. From the thing there. Just up the top there. They've been pulled all the way out to the front now. That will mean the queen can get in there. Um, whoops, there you can see the ladder there. See how they're holding on to each other. Yeah, this is annoying them because they're at a, some sort of a critical stage right now. So, best to give them their space on that one, but they've now got enough pollen to, uh, to build onto there. Uh, that there, yeah, yeah, they're getting a little bit excited. I don't want them squashed and I don't want them annoyed. I just want them to be able to build their... Uh, they look for the queen, but they're a little bit bothered this morning. That's all. Yeah, nearly being stuck. Yeah, nearly being stuck. So I'm just putting these, uh, moving these back forward again. And uh, I don't want this cockroach in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just putting it out for them. That's at least the end of that. And not a, a reason to worry. But when that ladder's there, they do get more excited when they join themselves together like that. They do get much more excited about something being in or near the hive as they've, they've started to explode out of there. Um, just one more thing to show you before I put the lid on is the size of that hole there should only be three centimeters and it should have that should have a roof over it about an inch high so it's between the tin just to stop direct radiation through that yeah. now if you can see that you can see the hole there in the middle 
that there is too big. It should be three centimetres in diameter. I just did that when I got it because I want a little bit of ventilation in it. It gets awfully, awfully hot. And the tin um, should uh, not be able to ra radiate down through that. So I'm going to put a sort of a, uh, a roof over that about three quarters of an inch high or an inch high so that it shields and it can't radiate straight down into there but it really should have that little bit of ventilation there too in preference to really a whole second piece of cover should be inside the, the tin lid with an edging of about a centimetre around the edge as a sort of a double roofing system so that it, the tin never radiates down onto this because it, in the Australian sun it just gets too immensely hot